Editing and deleting a custom view is fairly straightforward. As far as removing a custom view is concerned, we simply go to the custom views option on the view ribbon. And then we choose the view we no longer require, for example, the CEO view, and choose delete. We're then asked, are we sure? And if we click yes, that view is removed. I'm going to say no, because I want to retain the CEO view, but definitely the yes would take it away. You have to be a little bit careful that you don't delete a view that you need. For example, if I was to be looking at the CEO view, go to custom views and then delete the full view, I would have no means of returning back to seeing everything other than manually unhiding all the columns and rows, going back into the options and turning back on the column headings, the row headings and the outline symbols. So there will be a lot of work to do. So you just have to be that little bit careful about which views you do delete. It would need to be a view you definitely do not require anymore. Now editing is a slightly different task in that we can't choose edit from here. There is no edit option. So we have to do things a slightly different way. Well, let's return to our CEO view. And one of the things we said the view retains is print settings. So if I wanted to print this, I would do a print preview to start. And I can see that it's quite small. So if I go to page setup and zoom this up, let's go right up to 200%. And then go to print preview, you'll find that the text is really quite large. In fact, twice the size, hence the 200%. If I then want to retain that print setting with this view, I need to effectively edit the view. Now, editing the view is really just a means of overwriting an existing view. So if we go to view, I've made a change to the CEO view. I go to custom views. I remember what I've called it and choose add. And effectively, I have to give my new view, which isn't really a new view, the same name as a view I would like to replace. Then when I click OK, it asks, well, it already exists. Do you wish to delete it and continue? Yes. So effectively, it gets rid of the old CEO view and returns me to the new CEO view, which on the screen is the same, but when I go to print, has a 200% zoom. Now I can see that this works by moving back to another view. I'm going to print preview, and you can see that that's definitely not 200%. But if I then change to CEO view and go to print preview, it retains that 200% setting. So I can do the same with my full view, which in print preview doesn't quite fit on the page. I could do with either changing the landscape or doing some squash to fit. So let's change the orientation to landscape, and that way it definitely fits on the page. However, if I don't save this view to overwrite the existing full view, next time I go to CEO, come back, it will go back to being portrait. So I need to effectively save this new view, which just happens to have the same name as one of the old views, which is full view. So add full view. Okay. Full view already exists. Do you wish to delete it and continue? Yes. So I now have a new full view. It is just a little bit of a shame that there isn't an edit option. You effectively have to create your new view which really is based on the old view, do an add and make sure that you give it exactly the same name as it had. And it effectively then deletes it and replaces it with your new view. So if I now go to CEO view, we can see that's retained its 200%. I then change back to full view and it's remembered that it is now landscape. So the print settings, as well as all those column hidings and outline symbols and column headings and row headings being retained, the print settings are also retained, which makes the custom views even more useful than just changing and hiding rows and columns, because it physically retains all those print settings of orientation, zoom, number of pages to use, etc.